turns out we don't record. Hello, today. and welcome back to Forge by Geeks playing Kingdom Death Monster People of the Skull. For our Twitch viewers, we got a late start today because our machine was blue screening from XSplit every time we tried to stream. Uh, rolled back to old version, we're happy now. <laughs> As always, thank you to our uh, patrons on Patreon. Also, thank you to all our new subscribers on YouTube. We're just 20 short from hitting uh, monetization again. Well, hitting where we can get monetized and then YouTube reviews, approves, all that good fun shit. Or not. At this point, I'm not sure. <laughs> Our luck, yes. Yeah. Um, we haven't been cursing as much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, though we, uh, I still have some old when I was doing drop mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, they claimed, uh, copyright, copyright on one of the old drop mix ones for, uh, the, uh, LMFAO song. Wow. Yeah, I'm Amazing. like, are you guys kidding me? So I need to figure out how, because I know Drop Mix has something I can put as like a string into it that will. That's basically like I'm streaming the game, game that has the <laughs> license amount to this music. Yes. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. So since we are Trailblazer, the first thing we do is the first Dung Beetle event. Oh, uh, just a couple other things. Uh, we Goku has the Gloom Cream on, properly hooked up. So. When I depart, I gain negative three hunt XP and negative one understanding. So I should do that That's now. That's Cauliflower, right? Not go. Or Cauliflower. Cauliflower has it hooked up. So I will gain negative three hunt XP. She had not reached the final uh, age event and didn't pass the old one, so we don't have to worry about that. And we'll lose one of her two understanding. Okay. So just letting people be updated on that. Okay. I don't think we have any... Oh, we gained three Insanity on Departure, which we already put on screen. Yep. And for the recording people, we already rolled, and who's going first? Chise. Chise has it. Um, I think we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Go. See what happens. Abandoned resin ball. You spot a large spherical object covered in flora resting at the base of a small valley. Your lantern light catches a glimpse of a face on it. You may descend and investigate. If you do, gain one courage and roll 1d10. Uh, one through five, um, you, you lose three survival but gain one preserved caustic dung. Six plus, if you discover, if you had pictograph, then add stranger in the dark, otherwise gain plus one understanding. I think I'm going to roll on this. Wait, I think we have pictograph as well, don't we? No, I don't think we have pictographs. We need pictographs because we need it for almanac. Oh, right, that's so, what it was. So, Chisei investigates, gaining one courage. Nice, and yeah, the Caustic Dung Strange resource would be really nice. I rolled a 10, so I gain one understanding, which is the insight event. Camera oh, is a bit fuzzy on green screen. Uh, that's only if we put uh, the models on, because of the weird shadowing and stuff around them. Oh, oh, wait, no, it's actually fuzzy. Oh, shit. I can oh, fix it. shit. Wow, well, yeah. I know what happened there. Every now and then the cameras lose their zoom. So Chise has Insight, which is the hunt phase. Epiphany. That should be better. Is that better? Explore. Yeah. Explore when you roll on and investigate. Mine. Let me double check mine. Problems with resetting XSplit back. Oh, mine's off too. All right. So then she rolls for what her result is going to be, which is a nine gain plus one permanent accuracy. So she goes up to three accuracy. Not bad. Okay. So that is that. All right. So, that, we did investigate, so that completes that. So then, I just pulled out all the Dung Beetle Knight special resources, because we may need them. So, Armin now is the event revealer. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. And Brown Ground. The ground opens into a massive pool brimming with a creamy and rancid substance. The survivors may brave the muck. If they do, each gains plus one courage and rolls on the table. Uh, we're not doing this. 
Oh, that bad? If you have 10 plus insanity, you cackle madly, disappearing into the muck, you are dead. Otherwise, lose all but one survival and gain that much insanity. Armin currently has 20 insanity. <laughs> it's only a 10% chance. Yeah, but not but, worth oh, it. Oh, shit. What? We have to roll a random hunt event if we don't brave the muck. Then we roll random. It's better. Uh, no, uh, sorry, three random hunt events. Oh, but it's a, what are the other effects? Uh, two through eight suffer uh, star plus 1d10 brain event damage. So a shit ton of uh, event dam brain event damage. Which isn't a big problem for Armin. Um, you leap from encrusted nugget to encrusted nugget and safely cross. You skip the next space on the hunt board. If you move on to over or onto the quarry space, you ambush the monster. So we would not ambush. We'd basically get a chance to skip the event. All of us have to roll. Oh, all of us have to roll? Yeah. All of my characters are over 10. That's too high chance. I think we're going to have to do the three. Okay. It sucks, but... So, if it was just one character, it might have been worth risking it. But, wait... Has Kalifla not spent her reroll? Oh no, she has. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna suck. Three random hunt events. Yep. One. Fifty-one. Refugees. The survivors encounter a group of, fleeting, of fleeing settlers. If the settlement has symposium and language, the survivors manage to crudely communicate. The survivors may offer a resource or gear to help the distressed refugees. If they do, archive the offering, the refugees frantically share their mournful tale. While much is lost in translation, they relate the savage invasion of a monster that destroyed their home. The tale prepares the survivors for what lies ahead at the start of the showdown, Reveal the top five AI cards of the AI deck and put them back in any order. If any survivor has the leader fighting art, one of the settlers is drawn to their charisma. Um, do you, either of you have leader? Uh, no. Okay, so are we going to ar archive a piece of gear? Uh, so or what's... Or a resource? We do have you no think resources. we should? Um, it would enable us to reveal the top five AI cards of the AI deck. That could be nice. And, and put reorder. them back in any order. That would be really nice. Um, so we could do that. Probably in that case we would be losing uh, one of the um, Dridacanthus, is my guess. I'm seeing if there's anything else. I mean, are we that at risk with bandages? Though bandages is an organ, I believe. No, it's a hide. Bandages is just a hide. I mean, I could lose a bandage. Would that ruin your hookups? Oh, it would. It would stop gloom cream. Oh, wait, no, Gloom Cream's on Depart, so I already got it. Okay, I mean, so that's a possibility. Like, uh, do you have three green hookups on that character? That's the other character. Okay, yeah, I'm just asking. No, no, no. three green hookups. Okay. No, that character doesn't deal with that. Okay, because I would prefer not to lose my bandages, because it hooks up with my sentry shoulder pads. So the oh. question is, do we find... We can probably afford to lose one bandages. Your sentry case, shoulder pad? Oh. Because I need to hook it up for two greens in order to get the ripple pattern effect. But bandages are hooking up to it? They're not hooking directly. I oh. have a green from oh, it. Oh, okay. So you're using the down green. Yeah, okay. I'm using the down green. Yeah, I can lose my bandages. Okay. I think that would be better than the alternative. Yeah. Well, we don't get we don't lose anything. Will, the only thing is whether or not we're gaining looking at the top five AI cards and reordering them. I think the bandages is worth that. Okay. So <coughs> we're going to get rid of the bandages. And when we arrive at the showdown, we can look at the top five cards and reorder them. Oh shit, we have... We actually don't need to craft new bandages. Why? At one point we crafted four bandages. Oh, we did! Yeah, Sweet! Yeah, so now we're down to three bandages. That's oh, good. No. That's actually a good trade-off. I like that. Okay, so that was the first one of these. Next one. So you didn't have a leader, right? No, I did not. Okay. 39. I have a ton of stuff. I have Trailblazer, Tough, Propulsion Drive, Heroic, and Burning Ambition. A heavy mist envelops the survivors, obscuring their lantern light. Roll 1d10. If the result is even, the survivors stumble in the right direction. If the result is odd, they get turned around. Roll again on the hunt event table before moving on the hunt board. So we want even. We got even. So we stumbled in the right direction. Nothing effectively happens. Hunt Good. event number three. 26. Shit. What? Pit. The ground beneath the event revealer's feet gives way, and they plummet into a pit below. The event revealer rolls 1d10. Ah, uh, this one. 
Yeah. Okay. This. I don't think you can die. Uh, no, you can suffer the broken leg severe injury twice. Oh, that would suck. Okay, I have no fragile gear. Good. So... Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> I do not have the tumble fighting art, and we do not have a rep. Three. Shit. What? Uh, suffer the broken leg severe injury. Just However, once? I have a... Try to campus. Try to campus. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but the broken leg is negative one permanent movement. Uh, but the dried acanthus has to go. I archived the dried acanthus. Okay. That's two pieces of gears, gear that we've lost already. Yeah, but we did get a benefit from at least one of them. Yeah. Okay, so move us up. Which is going to be another random hunt event. Which is going to be Goku. Okay. Let me get the mouse off the game board. <laughs> Good. 28. 28. You just rolled like 29 or something, I thought. Uh, 26. Ah. Troll bird. Oh, fuck this thing. A rumpled, unsightly bird stands in the survivor's path. Its beady, wet eyes blink expectantly, and it calls out with an eerie human chuckle. The survivors may archive one consumable item or gear offering it to the troll bird. If any survivor is insane, they must feed the troll bird if able. If they feed the troll bird, it offers uh, it hops off with a terrible crackle. So. So um, I will feed it my monster grease. Well, your you, both of your characters are insane, right? Oh, we all Every have. Every single one of us is going to be feeding. Oh shit. A. Uh, consumable. Yes. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna feed it a dried acanthus and a monster grease. Uh, I feed Armin's monster grease. I don't want to lose two evasion. <laughs> and a dried acanthus. I think keeping two evasion is more valuable than uh, dried acanthus right now. So we lost two monster greases and two dried acanthus, right? Yep. Yeah, Delacar pretty much agrees. This has been a pretty bad hunt. Okay. <laughs> so we're down to two monster grease, which means we're going to have to pay organs. All right, well, that was that. So next one, next character. Hopefully Kalifa adventures somewhere wisely. Oh, shit. What? That sucks. What wrong? I don't have Devastating on my Zambato anymore. Oh, shit. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. 89. Cleaner birds. Tiny, ragged birds with needle-thin beaks fly overhead. Each survivor rolls 1d10. The lowest-scoring survivor is a straggler. Come on, Goku! Nope. That would be, uh, Kalifla. Okay. The event revealer. The birds swarm the straggler. One forces the way its way into the strangler's mouth and down their throat. The survivor vomits up the well-fed bird, their insides scrambled and scarred. Gain plus one permanent luck, minus one permanent speed. I like this. Yeah. Holy shit. Can we roll 89 a lot more, please? Yes. That is I the mean, luck bird. Holy shit. That puts Colorful up to three luck and down to... Uh, one natural speed, but is gaining one from Sword Mastery. Alright, Overwhelming Darkness is going to be our next thing. I think we're all the path of the insane. Uh, not necessarily, because I got courage. <gasps> Do you have courage? Oh, wait, Goku does. Alright, okay, who has, like, Armin and Goku both have courage? Yep. Ten. Okay, Ten. You emerge from the darkness with a new perspective. Gain the leader fighting art. Fuck my life. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, wait, I have to give myself a 10. The, uh, the one time I don't want to fucking roll 10. All right. Uh... Armin, with your lantern held high, you cut a path through the teeming darkness. Suffer one event damage to your arms. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Armin, Armin, damage. <laughs> so I gained okay. the leader fighting art, I think. Um, oh, that's a hard one. I think I'm going to have to dump tough. 
Okay. Because I want to keep Trailblazer and Propulsion Drive. Okay. Alright, so, uh, your other character who does not have three courage... Is insane. Okay. Isn't that the character who doesn't have three courage that you're writing on? Oh, shit. Oh! Then I don't need to jump tough. Thank you. I mixed up my characters because I'm used to Goku being on the top. Yeah. Um, so I don't actually dump every anything. He just gains leader because he had an open spot. Okay. All right. Um, so now Cauliflower. Yeah, and uh, Chisei. Three! Uh, Three. Uh, uh, uh. You feel safe and welcome in the darkness. Spend all of your survival, at least one, to shake yourself from this delusion or wander into the darkness lost forever. So spend all of your survival. Cauliflower didn't need survival. Uh, Chisei, nine. A huge eye stares at you from the darkness. It scares you sane. Set your insanity to one and gain the post-traumatic stress disorder. Boo! So you'll be Skip? Yep. Chisei with post-traumatic stress? I couldn't imagine that happening. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we have successfully cleared overwhelming darkness. <sighs> All right. Herb gathering. Everybody gains one survival. So we will do the reverberating lantern right before the actual hunt event? Yep. Or, no, we can do that right before we move into him. Oh, wait, no, the hunt event may move us into him. Yes. Okay. So All everybody right. gains one survival? Yep. And From what again? Because just going through herb gathering gives it, but... Okay. All right, so... Um... <laughs> yeah, Chisei and PTSD. Okay, so now we add ten. So we start with ten. Okay. And then we're aiming for 75 plus, probably. Correct. So we should do... That would be 65 we need divided by 5. That would be, I can do this, 13. So we need 13 dice approximately going around the table minus a little bit. Um, so we should be doing 4. Okay. So she said, rolls. That is going Good. to be 16, 21. 21. So we are currently at 31. Good. That's a good start. Yes. I need a different pencil. So do you want me to do four dice again? Um, so we're at, what, 31? Mm -hmm. We need 75. Yeah. That's 44. That would be... Yeah, I think we still need to roll four. No, I don't think so. I think we can do three. Uh, 44 divided by five is basically nine. Yeah. So that means three dice for each of the rice characters on average. Okay. We may have to up to four on the last one, but let's we should play it safe if we can. Okay, so um, with uh, Armin, Ooh. Uh, 21 again. Very nice. So we are now at 52. Which means we're now only 23 away, which unfortunately means I should still roll three dice on one character. One nice thing is Chisa is uh, gets if we get a random vermin resource, which we will if we don't explore the swamp. Uh -huh. Like uh, she can hold it because she's not nuts. Oh, good. So yay. Oh. You are terrible at this. Yes, I am. Okay, so we need twenty-two. Yeah. Four dice. I. No, I... twenty-three. Okay. Should I do four or five? I'm thinking four just to be safer. Yeah. The, we, the odds will ever have to be in our favor, but... And I got Doubles. a double. Okay. Uh, gain two fresh Acanthus Strange Resources. Good. Uh, if the settlement has cooking, gain one random vermin resource, and all survivors gain three survival. I'm just saying, yes, I am terrible at this. That was our best chance in a long time to hit 75. Mm-hmm. So how much uh, survival did we gain? Three. Ooh. And uh, we also need to draw a random vermin. Okay, and what's our cap? 11 now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm terrible at this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm terrible at rolling. One random vermin. What should we take? Yes. <laughs> Sword beetle. Hmm. What can we cook with him? Uh, archive this and roll a d10. The beetle burrows into your brain. You die instantly on a 1 to 3. 4 to 5. 
Tough and disgusting. No effect. Six plus. Permanent strength. Okay. Can we cook anything with that? Probably yeah. permanent strength. Probably permanent strength, yes. Uh, crush and devour. Yeah, let's totally do that. Uh, sword beetle. Uh, yes, plus one permanent strength. What do we need for it? One bladder, one lion testes, one fresh acanthus, and the sword beetle. So that's not happening. Uh, remember that we can uh, cook without one ingredient, uh, but we don't have either of the bladder or the other one. So anyways, mineral gathering now. Yep. Uh, monster controller moves. Uh, mineral gathering. Yay, mineral gathering. Okay, every survivor with a pickaxe rolls. I only have one survivor with a pickaxe. I also have one survivor with a pickaxe. So it's Goku. Okay. Eight. Alrighty then. What? Gain one scrap basic resource. Ooh. If this event occurs after overwhelming darkness, you find a cave. Oh. Resolve all rolls on mineral gathering, then any survivor may descend to the worm tunnels. Alright, so uh, Chise also rolls. Seven. You find one iron strange resource among the unyielding stone faces. As you free it, roll 1d10. On a six plus, you hear a snap and archive the pickaxe in your gear grid. She says rocking the resources. Oh, shit. Well, ten. So, so the question is, do I want to lose the pickaxe that I have, which would mean I can't roll on ripple pattern anymore? Or do I want to possibly try to re-roll on, uh, on the later ones? What's the later ones? What could we be looking at? That is how we get crystal skin. Ooh. Crystal skin, what does that do for us again? You ignore cursed and cannot wear armor. When you depart, gain three armor to all hit locations, suffer negative two to the result of all severe injury rolls. When you participate in intimacy, newborns gain crystal skin in addition to any other roll results. We yeah. can all go down to that, right? Yes. However, you have to go through the worm tunnels first. Oh, okay. So we haven't made it through that yet. No. Um, we can make more pickaxes. Yeah, the only problem with archiving the pickaxe mm -hmm. is that uh, it would lose me ripple pattern. What's ripple pattern? It is the thing on the sentry shoulder pads that allows you to ignore a hit. Oh, because you need the two grains. Yes. It's only on a 10 plus. Yeah. I would lose it. All right, I archive my bone pickaxe. Jesus, this has been bad for our gear. Yeah, this has. <laughs> oh, Matt wanted us to save the pickaxe. Oh, well, there we go, so, minus one bone pickaxe. All right, so now everybody can descend if they want. Um, worm tunnels, uh, so do we all want to go, or do we not? I think so the thing is, yeah. Your pick got axed. Yes. <laughs> so, or is anybody deaf? Yes, colorful. Okay. Then Colifla may not want to descend. Why is that? Because on a four through seven, uh, you uh, you die. Oh, that'd be bad. Yeah. Colifla will not go. All right. So we also have chances of gaining like iron and stuff. Okay. So does Goku have the sickle? Uh, yes. Goku has the sickle and still has a reroll from digging claw. Okay. So let's have Goku go first. You had a plus two to this result. Oh, because of the sickle. Yeah. Oh, nice. 11. Uh, you find one iron strange resource embedded in a hairy crystal. Choose to either gain the iron or spend two survival to follow a crystal trail leading you into the crystal lake. That is how you get the crystal skin. Two survival! Okay. Okay, I'm in the crystal lake. All right, now roll a d10. Okay. Oh, what do I need? Uh, one or a two. You do not add two to this anymore. Okay. I need a one or a two. Any, what else am I looking at getting? Because we've never been here. Yeah, a two, a three or a four, you gain a random disorder and plus three insanity. A five and a, or a six, you gain an iron. A seven plus, you find two iron and either gain them or spend three survival to descend into the Lantern City. Um, if you descended into the Lantern City, you have a 40% chance of dying because I think you're insane. Um, <laughs> yes. A 50% chance of gaining four iron strange resources and three scrap. 
and a 10 plus you awaken with one piece of armor gear from your of your choice from the blacksmith settlement location which isn't really going to be useful to us yeah okay so i don't want to descend again yeah so roll on the crystal lake three okay you would get a random a reflection speaks to you gain a random disorder and plus three insanity this i'm is going the, to re-roll yes roll like shit roll like shit one all right <laughs> drifting phosphorescent spores infect your pores gain two armor to all hit locations now is this oh immediately yes okay when you return to the settlement the spores mature and you gain the following ability that's when you gain crystal skin so you might as well note crystal skin down even yeah. though you don't have it yet though i can now take hits from the dung beetle knight yes with my massive seven evasion <laughs> All right, so she says. What does Crystal Skin do? You ignore cursed and cannot wear armor. Which isn't a problem. When you depart, gain three armor to all hit locations. Suffer negative two to the result of all severe injury rolls. Oh, that's a problem. Yes. But I don't have that yet. Uh, when you participate in intimacy, newborns gain Crystal Skin in addition to any other roll results. Um, you. So, did you have the Gloom Mendy on that character? Mm, yes. Okay, note the Gloom Mendy. Uh, when oh. you gain the Crystal Skin ability, okay, that happens when we get back. All right, okay. technically. So, we'll Good need to, to remember know. that. All right, Chisei goes. She rolls a five. <laughs> he won't go Super Saiyan. Mm, I would lose two survival and gain two insanity. Or I can re-roll this. To try to go down deeper. Yes. I would re-roll. It would have been better to re-roll next one, but... Chase re rerolls. Two. You spend too much time in the tunnels, lose half your survival rounded down. So that's five survival gone. Uh, if you are insane, I am not, you strike up a conversation with yourself and gain a random disorder. All right. So I thought we had one more character. Yeah, we could technically go with Armin if we wanted to. Uh, he does not have any rerolls, um, but it's I mean, pretty. It loses him some survival, but all right. So Armin tries to descend. Three. You spend too much time in the tunnel, lose half your survival, rounded down, drops him to six, and he gains a disorder. Oh, he does. Yes. Okay. Oh wait, that's a disorder game. No, it says at the start of the showdown. Um. Yes, you're right. Damn it. <laughs> that would have been nice. So we're done with mineral gathering. Yep. Do we want to sonorous rest now, or do we do it after this? Um, do you have any... How is your survival looking on your characters? Four and six. Yeah, we can keep going. Okay. So we'll do it right after this, before we officially encounter. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Oh. So as far as the disorder, you will be getting Stark Raving. Oh, wow. You are always insane, regardless of your insanity. Yep. Did we want that on him? Because I knew we... Does He's he... immortal. We wanted that on him! <laughs> it's kind of a bit of a mix, because we need to get rid of his post-traumatic stress, otherwise he could, like, you know... Yeah. Anyways, uh, so yeah, you're now the hunt revealer, so... Last hunt card. God, this has been a long hunt. Yep. There we go. Go, go, Koo. He's seen superfood. You find a curious stone face. It is ringed with overgrown dead acanthus plants. You may push the dead leaves aside to investigate. If you do, roll a d10. Otherwise, roll one random hunt event. One through three. Uh... No, you... You clean the stone face, nothing more. At the start of the showdown, put the Rainbow Beetle AI card in play. Four through six. Uh, in the face's nostrils, you find some leftover simmering goo. You secretly consume it and gain plus one permanent speed. At the start of the showdown, the monster gains plus one speed token. Seven plus. Uh, you part the dry leaves and gain a rain Rainbow Droppings Phoenix resource. Rainbow Beetle. 
When this comes to play, all non-blind survivors are knocked down. Whenever when a survivor attacks the monster on a perfect hit, they lose one survival and suffer star brain damage unless they're uh, blind. Okay, roll random hunt event it is. Okay. <laughs> this is just not looking good for us. No. Oh, thank you very much, Delcar. Yeah, thanks for joining us. If you need any help with your own YouTube, be, feel free to ping us. Five. Fifty. Fifty. Sorry. <laughs> Give it. A crude iron cage swings from the branches of a massive tree. As the survivors approach, a man calls out to them from the cage, pleading to be freed. The survivors may pass him by and suffer one brain event damage as the prisoner weeps and pleads. If the survivors choose to free him, the event revealer rolls 1d10. 1. The survivors open the cage, but all they find inside is a skeleton. The survivors suffer two, all survivors suffer two brain event damage. Two through seven. The prisoner is thankful and follows the survivors until they rest. When they wake, each survivor loses one random resource if they had any. Eight plus. The prisoner is grateful and follows the survivors home after the showdown. The settlement gains one population. I think we're leaving the poor fucker. Yeah, just take the one brain event damage. Yep. Okay. So, so. now we sonorous rest. Yes, now we sonorous rest. Let me pull oh, sweet. I'll have to check that out and see how you did. Uh, if you can send me a direct link to the video of, on Twitch, just put, send it in private message. I'll check it out later. Sonorous Rust. Yeah, Superfood is Mario Star for Beetle. Alright. Uh, uh, the survivors activate the reverberating lantern. Its unsettling vibrations cause headaches, but drown out all sound within the small area. The group can now pause safely while the lantern remains active. You may either rest or tune. Rest, gain two survival, gain an additional one survival for each green you have, or tune, gain three insanity, gain an additional plus one insanity for each blue you have. Okay, so I'm going survival, so how much is the base survival? Two. Okay, so Kalifa goes up to six. Um, Goku, on the other hand, I have four green hookups, so I gain six, but that would put me at 12, which we can't have. So I go to 11. All right. I am... Going to... Man, this is irritating. Oh? Um, Chisei only has six survival, so it'd be nice to get the three survival from resting. However, she also has zero insanity. Oh. But she also has only one disorder, so maybe I'll just take that. Yeah, yeah, I would do um, the survival. We'll so need she's going to rest, which gets her to up to nine survival. And then Ermin is actually going to tune, because even though he has six survival, he's also an abyssal sadist, so. and he's stark raving and immortal, so every <laughs> bit of insanity is good for me. Yes. I have two blues. Blues, so that means I gain five insanity, putting me at twenty-four. Nice. That's an extra couple hits. Okay. <laughs> so Armin's our tank. Yeah. Well, except Chise is supposed to be our tank. And Goku. We have multiple tanks. This is not a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. Okay. Can you push those two down? And here is the last one. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, we're actually taking uh, people with fighting arts for this dude. To I this know. Dude. It's an amazing concept. Okay. Okay, so what terrain do we need? Uh, six columns set out in a specific look uh, setup, and one bug patch, which is also out there, plus um, the resin dung ball. No random terrains. So, here is your terrible showdown setup. Oh yeah, the one we can't see. Uh, so we do get to look at the top five cards of the AI deck and choose them. The order for them. One, two, three, four, five, Do we get any randos? Seven. That makes life easy. No strategists? Uh, no. I do not have strategists. Oh, I do have red fist, though. So we all gain one strength uh, token. Oh, very nice. That That's actually really good for this. Okay, so the bug's sitting back there. He 
has one legendary. You move your dice. There you go. Okay. All right. So Armin has eight movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so he could theoretically push it. So could Goku. So we should probably set them up for that. Mm -hmm. I'll put Goku up front because he also has seven evasion and has shit tons of armor right now. Okay. So he might actually be a pretty decent tank. Uh, this thing hits five default, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so go. So you need a speed and a damage token, please? Oh, right. And four strength. Which we can also spend as survival if we need. Yes. pumps both my character's strength up to seven, which is very nice. Um, All right, here are my tokens. Okay, so he is going to have uh, not bro. His toughness is 14, right? Uh, yes. Oh, right, at the start of a monster turn. Okay, we're gonna suck the first power forward, though. What does that do? Because it's at the start of the monster turn. Um, that's the baller. We actually can't prevent it, it I, looks like. I don't remember what happens with that. It throws the ball at you. Oh. Separation anxiety. Um, oh, wait, no. Baller. What we did last game was we can prevent it. We can dash before that happens. No, we can't. Because uh, technically speaking, at the start, he picks the target. This says do not perform this card, but... Yeah, I mean, maybe... That's what we did last time. Here, let okay. me see the card. Because the thing is, like, you start the card. Yeah, so... Pick target, turn to face target, and perform baller. So we can do it before he performs baller. There's an arrow. Yeah. So he picked a target, but that's all he did. Yeah, the question is what the when the green takes effect. Because it's at the top of the card, so it kind of implies that you have to do it beforehand. But Well, no, he'd still do the card, but since the ball's not next to him, he can't do baller. Uh, technically, baller doesn't tell you that you can't. What does it say? The monster spins the ball around itself with ferocious force. All in the red zone above suffer collision, archive all destructible terrain. I mean, technically it would make sense, yes, that we yeah. could prevent it. So. I think we can prevent it. Okay. I think that's one of the things with this. If we so we can still knock it away and prevent that from happening. Okay. So now we take a look at the first five cards because of that because we sacrificed a piece of gear for it. Uh, I also need a random tactic. Oh right. All right. Uh, Is Goku stinky? Does he have grease? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, so he like preferentially attacks stinky survivors overall. Okay. Um, Which is fine. The main thing we want is um, at least like the first two cards are ones we so, so he's going to go first, right? Yes. Put a really basic card that maybe attacks Goku on top, 
And then the next two cards are at least ones that we really want gone. Okay. That we never want to encounter. Because we should deal at least two wounds. Yeah. But most likely we'll knock off all the other four. Okay. So your tactic for today is Lance Formation. Three behind, one other person. When the survivors are standing in this formation, the survivor in the front gains two speed and two strength. We will never be using that. Three speed, I think it said. Two speed. Oh, it's just two? Sorry, it looked like three. Oh, no. never mind. But we will not be using that. Okay. So... Okay, do you, oh, you, good, you still have the luck charm hooked up. Yes. Or wisdom potion, sorry. Is that Armin? Yes, that's no. Armin. No, you want Armin on the other side to knock it this way, and then worst case, Goku can run up and knock it back. Okay. That makes sense? Alright. Um, okay. Colifla only has 7 speed, so I should be good there. Okay. So, he starts his turn? Uh, yes. His and turn starts the furthest stinky survivor. Oh, furthest? Oh, shit. Yeah, furthest. Um, for Baller, right? Uh, yes, this is for Baller. But he's not going to do it. Yeah, we so, push it away. so we're not worried about that. Okay, so now dash with uh, Armin and start the knock. Okay, Armin dashes. All right. Eight movement is perfect for this. Yeah. Five. You were like... And I needed to search for that as well. Oh, right, yes. You're like, move, you fucking ball! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess Goku doesn't have to go then. So that cancels the rest of power forward. Yep. Which means no baller, but he does do the end point on it. Yeah, full move the monster towards the ball. What's his movement? Uh, his movement is going to be a uh, seven. Okay. There he goes. All right. So I forgot. Uh, the top one is going to be the swarm of bot flies, which is roll one d ten and add your courage. If the result is greater than seven, you boldly ignore the flies and archive this card. Who does it target? Uh, it's it's a first strike. No, this is the the oh, oh. location deck. So how does that work again? Sorry. Uh, it's first strike and impervious. You can't wound it. You must roll higher than a seven. Otherwise, you suffer star brain damage and are knocked down. And it's add your courage. Yes. Okay, I have four courage on Goku. I have six on Armin. Maybe Armin's best to do that first hit? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm no longer devastating, so... Okay. So, but I'm also our crit master. Oh, you are? Yeah, I have five, six, seven luck. Oh, then, uh, no, we shouldn't have you do that. I'll have Goku do that. So All first right. AI card. Yeah, which is you. It technically passes. Okay, so Kalifa is the AI. Closest stinky threat. You're not stinky. I am not stinky. So that would be Goku. Okay. Um, Move and attack. What was this movement again? Seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh! oh so close. Yes. Uh, so he has plus one speed. So speed of three, this will be an accuracy of uh, 11 plus. Okay. <laughs> so only if I roll tens. Yep. No tens! He misses. Sweet. I like having seven evasion. Okay, then he performs ground pound. Okay, um, which I believe pulls the ball. Yeah, the monster slams the ground, precisely altering its network of prepared tunnels. All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer bash. That's okay, you just get knocked down, but you can stand up at the start of our turn. Yep, so I'll just um, leave myself up. The vibrations create a natural ramp. Move the ball 1d10 spaces towards the monster. Okay. Okay. All right. So, it is now our turn. So, Goku, um, what's my accuracy looking like these days? I hit, I get a plus three, so I hit on a three plus from in front. So I'm going to stay in front of him. Okay. Um, and I'm going to attack. I'm using the bone axe. 
Um, so he's toughness of 14. Mm -hmm. So I'll hit him a wound on a 4 plus. I think that's good enough. I don't think I need to switch to digging claw with one less hit. Okay. Maybe. Actually, no, that may be best. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch to digging claw because it's lower speed. Okay. But, oh, but wait, bone axe. If I crit, I cause an additional wound. Except if you're doing the bot flies, if you, like, the bot flies aren't going to help you with that because you can't crit on it. Okay, so I'll switch. But if you wanted, if you hit anything else, it might yeah. be worthwhile. I think I'm going to switch the digging claw for this attack. Okay. Um, just to drop my speed a little bit. So that takes me down to just uh, uh, three hit, or three attacks. Okay. Instead of four. And I hit on anything but a one. Okay. Three hits. There you go. Whew. Wow. Hmm? Shit. <laughs> you shuffle like shit. Yeah, apparently I do. Okay, so... Um... So we have to do it better than a 7, so a d10 plus, I think I have 4 courage. And remember, you're wounding with a digging claw, which means you get a lot on those sentry carapaces. Oh, good point. So, oh, because it's a pickaxe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I actually only need a 3 plus. Okay. Or wait, do I have to do greater than a 7? Yeah. So I have to do, I have to do um, 4 plus. Okay. That's a three. Okay. Uh, which means I'm knocked down, which means... And you suffer two brain damage. Okay, that takes me down to ten. Damn it! Yeah. I was hoping to get rid of those sentry carapaces. Okay, I'm going to have um, Kalifla stand Goku back up. Okay. And he'll attack, and he'll surge to attack again. Yeah, you get eight survival if you win both carapaces. Because of the... <laughs> pickaxe bonus oh yeah but you can't go for it because it had to be first strike okay so i will go again okay digging claw again three hits again <laughs> and two more carapaces maybe i didn't shuffle well wow um So what happens if I... So how does this work? Plus 6 toughness to wound this location. Mm -hmm. So he's a 20. 2d10 strength when using a pickaxe. Mm -hmm. So... But you weren't using a pickaxe, right? Because did you... I am. Oh, claw. oh, you attacked with Goku again? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I need to hit a 20, and I have a 12 base. So I need 8 on 3 dice. Okay. That should be fully achievable. Yeah. First one, I get a 10 on it. Big whoop-de-doo. All right. So you gain four survival. I gain one. <laughs> okay. And that card's gone, right? Yeah, it's archived. Good. Let's try this again. Well, we just got here. We had a late start today because of blue screening. <laughs> we had a bad hunt. We mm -hmm. lost how many pieces of gear? I lost three. You lost four. We lost seven pieces of gear in the hunt. Yeah. And that's a total of seven. That may not be enough. Um, 14, 19. That is not enough. Lose one survival. And no burrow. Okay. Yeah. But it doesn't get rid of the card. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Come on, Goku. <laughs> that's including the strength token, right? Oh, no, uh, yeah, that's including the strength token. Yeah, just making sure. Yeah, because I have 12 uh, base with the weapon and hit. Okay. So that one goes into this card, unfortunately. So now we do Iridescent Abdomen. Um, so he's back down to 14, and I've got 12. So anything but a 1. Now, before attempting to wound, perform Ground Pound. Uh, no, because he's not next to the ball. That is, in oh. fact, what happens if the ball is not next to him. So, so what ground does... pound, 1d10. Oh, to move the ball towards him. Yeah. Okay. I like this. I did that twice. I forgot to record them. Okay. There we go. Now. Now. 
perf- attack the... Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't record those because they were for him. Stupid. When do I update our numbers? Mm-hmm. Um, that is a wound. I don't think I crit. Nope. But we got our first first blood. One wound. Okay. All right, so this one has a crit effect. It's not an excellent crit effect, but it is a decent crit effect. What is it? Um, okay. If you crit, the attacker gains one survival and one insanity, and the monster gains negative one toughness. I like that. Okay. We could use that. All so right. why don't you do the blade? So Armin moves up. Do you need to be behind him? Would that give you any advantage? No. Okay, so you hit on a 2 plus regardless. Yeah, my I have an accuracy of 4, and the accuracy on the Zambato is 6. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So I attack with the Zambato. My survival is already relatively low, so that's fine. Attack with the Zambato. I need a 2 plus to hit. Yeah, hit. you did. Iridescent Breastplate. So what do you need to wound and crit? Um... So I effectively have seven luck. So you crit on a three plus. Three plus. Do you wound on a two plus? Um yes. Oh wow. That is cocked. Okay. And that is a crit. That is one wound. Because I crit on him during an act uh with a grandmaster, so he is knocked down. Oh! So, because I am a Abyssal Sadist, I gain t- one survival. Because I crit on him, I gain one survival, so that puts me to six. I also gain two insanity from both of those things, and he gains a negative one toughness token. Very, very nice. So his top card is going to be discard this and draw a new hit location. Uh, crit do anything useful. Uh, crit is... No, it's going to be discard this oh, and draw okay. another hit location. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I will run behind him what's to, well it doesn't matter but i'm going no. to run like i am going behind him uh oh wait that, that puts you in the way of the wall that won't okay <laughs> and that allow me to actually knock it away yes um so you have three um you're gonna uh you have he you hit him on a three plus regardless of anything i gain a momentum token okay um and i'm hitting him with the bone blade and I have I lost the speed during the hunt, which is good. Mm-hmm. So, um, what do I hit him? Oh, three plus regardless. It would have been a three plus for me anyways. Two hits. Now I get a one. All right. So the you had the side of resin ball, which is discard this and draw a new hit location. Yep. And then I draw two. And there you go. And. If he's separated from the ball, the green takes effect, right? On draw or when I do the card? Uh, When you do the card. Okay. Um, Ground Pound would knock me down, right? Oh, shit, yeah. uh, You suffer bash if he ground pounds. Okay. So I will start with the iridescent leg. The ball moves 1d10 spaces closer to the monster. Okay. He crushes a keystone. Cancel the reaction on this hit location. Yes, so it is not actually ground pound. I am... <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've rolled three ones in a row for moving the ball towards him. Whoops. Oh, oh shit. I had my character swapped. Have it. Thank you. I'm so used to Goku being that character. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, which means... Oh, okay, so I do not gain that momentum token. Okay. Or do I? Yeah, this is Kalfa now, so I gain the momentum. I'm good. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, I knew my characters, I just had them swapped on the board. Okay, so... Uh, Kalfa is now attack, or is now going to try to wound. I have two from that, seven, so that only puts me at nine. He's at 13 now, so I need a four plus to wound. Okay. And I crit on seven plus. Okay. Oh, reactions are canceled anyways. 
Yes, but it's still good to know yeah, correct. Ten, Nat. Uh, monster gains negative one movement. So this is just with a sword. Do you have no special crit effects? Effects? Hold on. Um, actually, I have the sword. I can pick the location. I can crit the other one. Okay. Which I might just do here. Yes. Uh, the so I'm going to choose the hidden mandibles. Uh, the attack. Oh, for people wondering, I should show that. I have crit mastery, but on the basic one, it's when attacking with a sword after drawing hit locations, make a wound attempt, then select the location. Okay. So I'm actually going to do hidden mandibles. Uh, the attack ruins the monster's precise mandibles within the monster's face. If the attacker is within two spaces of the monster and able to consume, they may spend two survival to nimbly eat the glob of resin spit, aiming one evasion. Yes. I will gladly nibble his spit. And he has a broken mouth permanent injury right now. Okay. So I need to increment my evasion on my character sheet. I will gladly take a point of evasion for two survival. Increase the tens. Oh, thank you. Um, and now I have to wound this one. Mm -hmm. Or attempt to. So now the ball would have moved up the one. Yeah. That is just a wound. And did so you do... dealt four wounds to him. Okay, so how... he started at what? Fourteen. Okay, so he's down to ten. Thank you. All right, so... Good crit location or no? Uh, it would cause knockback, basically. Uh, with the crit? Uh, yes. Do we get anything knockback. out of it? Um, no. Okay. You gain one survival if that... you have three courage, so that's not that great. Okay, do I have... no. So, I am tempted to go in with Chise. Oh, the other character? The question is, I've got five on fist and tooth. Do I want to suck it up and try to fist and tooth them? I would try at least once. Okay. What's your strength? My strength is just four. But all reactions are cancelled, so if I'm going to be going for this, it's How probably... How much your movement? Uh, five. Only five? Yeah. Okay, oh, so Oh, no, six, actually, but... I'm going to have you stand here. I think that's a better spot. Okay. If you get knocked back, you're against the wall, then. So I do have a speed, so if I fist and tooth, I roll three. And what do you hit on? Uh, I hit on a... Three plus. A uh, three plus, yes, thank you. Wow. Wow. Just one shot at it, I guess. Yeah. Well, you can search as well. Yes. Woo! Crit. You crit. That's your check. Yep. One wound. Uh, the monster's tough claws spark. The impact surprises both the attacker and the dung beetle knight. Both suffer knockback five directly away from each other. Oh, shit. I forgot something. Might have helped, but too late. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I have uh, it would have made a lot more sense to do that the other way, man. What do you oh, mean? Well. Uh, he's going five, knockback five that way. Towards oh. the ball. Oh. oh. It would have made a lot more sense to do it the other way. But, oh well. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And what happens with the collision with me? Um, you just get knocked down. Okay. One second. Uh, the attacker does not have three courage, so she does not gain survival. Uh, the next one is going to be a swarm of bot flies. <sighs> so I don't get knocked down from the collision, or what? You do get knocked down from the collision. Oh, the I do. Next is going to be a swarm of bot flies. Okay. Um, I forgot to update a couple things. Pardon me. Um, and what does that give? Uh, two accuracy, two strength to Goku. Chise is going to dash while it is still her turn to activate Carapace of Will and gain my first steadfast token. Do we need to, we need to get the ball away from him, right? Yeah, but she can't get to him anyway, so. Okay. Uh, I need a token, please. For what? For Carapace of Will. Oh, just a random token? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to have Goku stand up Kalifla. Okay. So priority is getting that ball away. Mm -hmm. That's pretty easy to do. Because it only has to go one. But then I can't attack again. That's not that big of... Or actually... We can do it on his turn, technically, since we've already established that we are allowing ourselves to do that. Yeah. But I'd rather take care of it now, if we can. Mm-hmm. So... Kalifla can move the seven. Kalifla... Or the... Uh, sorry. Um, Goku can move the seven, but Goku has already completed. No. Yeah, Goku's already done both his actions. So he'd have to dash. Yeah, so... And then surge. No, Goku has already done both attacks. I did okay. them at the start. Califla can still do one action. Can either... How are your characters looking? I can't. I dashed with my... I dashed with Armin to push the ball at the start of the showdown, so I can't do shit with it. Okay, okay. And your other character is too far out. Yeah. Okay. She can't reach. Then Califla will dash up and surge. Okay. Unfortunately, that takes me down to one survival. Awesome. Knock the ball back, too. All right. It is now the start of his turn. So he... Power Hold on. Forward. I did move uh, more than four again, I believe. Yes, four or more. So I get another momentum token. That's not on your turn, is it? Um, no, because it says knockback as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so um, now he stands up. So he would perform power forward, except he doesn't. Um, do not perform this card. So monster controller moves. Okay. Oh, shit. Swordmaster. When this comes into play, the monster gains plus one speed token. Oh. For basic action. Replace the monster's basic action with closest threat. Uh, move and attack target. So closest threat is going to be Kalifla. Which kind of sucks. It's going to be a speed of five. Oh, what is your... Um... Wait, I can. would I be able to dash before he picks target? No. No. Damn it. Uh, the, what is your evasion? Uh, four. All right, he hits you on a six plus. Oh, shit. This could be a bad day. It's this... a bad card, yeah. Is this the legendary? Yeah. Oh, fuck. It stays in play, too. Uh, two hits. Two hits. Unfortunately, he deals seven damage. Uh, waste and body. Okay, I'm taking both. Oh, wait, no, I can get rid of one. Yeah, I and you will take a negative two to severe injury results. On this roll? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's bad. You don't have... You have a dry to campus. Yeah, I have one. Yeah, but, like, you can dodge one. This is on his turn. Yeah, but I'm still going to have to roll one with a negative... Oh, I can dodge one. Yes. You can dodge one. Okay. I am out of survival, and I lose my dry to campus. Okay, and you're knocked down technically. But I'll get up at the start of our turn. Except that matters for your momentum. Um, oh, right. Lose all momentum tokens. Yes, so you do take a bleed as well. Why do I get knocked down? Uh, because you did take a severe injury. Like, you had to take one of those and get uh, heavy injured. Okay, that's a good point. There we go. Okay. So, right. my momentum's gone. And now I get up. Yes. Okay. So now, our turn. Woo! Yeah, she would die. Yeah. <laughs> Except we barely managed to handle that. All right. So now it is our turn. Okay. So what's the top card? That's the bot flies, which yes. you need courage for, right? Yes. What happens if you fail? Uh, two brain damage and you're knocked down. Okay. I'm going to try attacking primarily to clear that with my bone blade. Okay. So I hit on a three plus. Mm-hmm. Two hits. And... Filthy Resin Sword. Oh, can you get Broken Blade off that? Yes, you can. Come on, we need the crit. I think I... Oh, first strike has to be the bot flies. Oh yeah, that's a good... 
thing. What? Leader does some weird stuff with courage and understanding, but I believe it is during only during the hunt. Um... Whenever you encourage a survivor, they gain plus one speed until the end of the round. Read the bottom. Yeah, and then the once per hunt stuff. Okay. So it is once per hunt. Okay. So, roll better this time. Yes. That would be nice. Okay, so hitting with the sword. Um, oh, wait. I could, Oh, but I'm stuck picking the first strike. I can't yeah. suddenly pick the other one. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Got a lousy chance of actually managing it. Uh... I have to get an 8 plus, 6 plus. 50% chance. No. It was a 7. Hey, Hirozen. Maybe uh, you being here will uh, give us better luck. All right, so you're knocked down. No problem not being from the beginning. <laughs> we like people joining in chatting, period. We love chatters. So you uh, take two brain damage and oh. are knocked down. Okay. And then Goku will stand her up, okay. which means she gains a speed. Hmm. Yay, speed. Yeah. Not as bad for her. All right, so discard the uh, cards. Yep, and what's our new top one? It is a Century Carapace. So we want Goku in on that one. Uh-huh. Okay. So Goku will run to here. And he will use the digging claw again. <laughs> I'm using that digging claw a lot. Card, the last AI. Uh, that's only if he's broken blade. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't do broken blade. I had to do the other one. Okay, so anything but a one. Two hits. <laughs> oh, at least I'm getting out rid of the ones on bullshit. Okay, so I want to get rid of this carapace for us, if I can. Mm -hmm. So, I need a total of eight on this to actually wound. Well, that's a wound. So I gain four survival, and that goes away. I gain three survival. Okay. And now... Um, monster crushes the keystone. Move the ball 1d10 spaces towards the monster. Alas. Then I get to attack. So I wound on... A, I have nine total strength. He has, and then that, I wound on anything but a one. Okay. And I crit on an eight, nine, or ten. I believe, yes. That's a wound. Unfortunately, that means a reflex. No, cancel the reflex, the action on this. Uh, oh, oh, nice. And that gets me my check mark on my axe proficiency that nice. I'm starting to build for Goku. Because <laughs> he already has fist and tooth. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So the next location is relatively safe. Uh, well, it is... It is, actually, it's knockback three and ground pound, which is gonna, like, actually do some bad stuff. Is the crit good? Uh, the crit's not good. Uh, it, you can try to knock him down, but you have a 60% of suffering bash and a 40% uh, uh, chance of uh, knocking him down. But if we go in with the sword, with the uh, grand weapon master, we could just knock him down. Oh, we could? Yeah, because if I crit, I knock him down. I'd if like you to. Attack with yeah, that. I think that would be good. Okay. So Armin moves up. How much can he move? Uh, eight. Five. Go to here. That way, that character can dash up to here. Okay. Um. So he just rolls one. I hit on a two plus. That's a hit. Iridescent arm it is. I wound on a two. Crit on a three. Yep. Nothing's oh, ever shit. horrible. It actually would have made more sense for me to be in front of him. But Why? Well, because I forgot if I do rarely wound, mm -hmm. it's uh he suffers knockback three, which oh, he would does. allow us to prevent the the thing from doing the. We wouldn't have to move the ball. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, that would make more sense because I'm gonna get out of here anyways. Okay. 
So wound on a two, crit on a uh, three. three. That's a crit. crit. He is. A, he does not suffer knockback. Because okay. that's the reaction. But he gets knocked down. Yep. I am not going to take the critical wound effect. Uh, next hit location is going to be the Filthy Face. Um, critical wound is gain negative one accuracy token and ar archive this card. Oh, and I need to increase my survival and my insanity again because I'm an abyssal sadist. I think we should do that. The negative one accuracy on him would be really good. Okay, Armin surges. Just because it means we take less hits. <laughs> that is a hit. And... I like resources and all that, but when it comes down to it, net right. crit. So he uh, gains a negative one accuracy token, and this card is archived. Sweet. The next is going to be the trap. Shit. Uh, how many AI cards is he down to? He should be down to six or seven. He is down to five because, remember, the trait came into play. And is that counting the side card? Yes. Okay. This is four, five, so... Yes. Uh, yeah, that is true. We never seem to do that. How are you going to handle the ball since Cauliflower has no survival to surge? We can do it with... Oh, wait, Cauliflower's in front of him, which means she can't dash out of the way, right? She hasn't gone yet, has she? Yeah, she did. Shit. Oh, when I went, then I should have just moved. Because I wanted to get her out of dodge. Okay. Because she's no survival. She's almost useless. Was she standing there at the start of the turn? Yeah, because yeah, he... and I attacked, and then I should have moved. Okay. So now you can move in and knock the ball away, and then attack him, or attack him, and then, oh, wait. No, I can't. Like, I, oh, well, yeah, I guess I theoretically could. Okay. I would just knock the ball away. What's the trap do? Uh, the trap, uh, full move directly towards the monster, or towards the attacker. If they're adjacent, it picks them up and leaps high and sticks, sticks them into the dung ball. Uh, place the monster in any space adjacent to the ball. Attacker suffers five damage to star hit locations and gains Smell World Survivor status card. Okay, so, so we just want to knock the ball away. Yeah, we want to knock the ball away. Armin can survive this because he's insane. Because he's immortal. Okay, how so much damage he, is it? Uh, it's going to be effectively ten damage. Five damage to two hit locations. Um, Goku can take it as well. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, two hit locations. If it's the same location, I have a problem. Yeah, so Armin would be better. Yeah, because Armin, it it's doesn't safer. matter what his okay. thing is. So you're going to dash up. Yep, so I did that on survival. Ball. And then I knock the ball away. Just one. All right. Um, yeah, now he stands up. Uh, performs power forward, except nothing happens. So, top AI card, it is now Armin, who is the monster controller. Vicious Bite. Closest stinky survivor. That is going to be Chise. Goku. Oh, go. Oh, you want it to be Goku? What's the accuracy? Uh, it is going to be 3+. Plus. 10+. Plus. Okay, yeah. And I have armor. Oh, wait, no. The monster vomits chemicals all over itself. It suffers <laughs> one wound and is knocked down. Oh, because I broke its mouth. Yeah. <laughs> So that is an arrow from that. Let me oh, see. Oh, yeah, I think it, that replaces the after damage effect instead. So I think he may still attack, but you see the arrow pointing down to the thing? Uh, no, broken mouth. Uh, the... You see the arrow, though? Like, there's a very faint arrow pointing to the, to the exclamation point. I'm wondering if that's more an artifact. Yeah, I don't know. Um... Oh. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. So it still attacks you. Yeah. And that. then, but it then it, it, other stuff happens if he tries to wound you because that makes we sense. don't do that anymore. Okay. Okay, so he's still technically up right now until that happens. Okay, so speed of three. Uh, four. Uh, five. Sorry, speed of three base. It's five. Five. Oh yeah. Has... And ten plus. 
no zero hits. hits. So unfortunately, that means he does not take the wound and he is not knocked down. Oh, he doesn't? No, because it's replacing the... Uh, oh! It says no for a persistent injury, you just do that effect. So I don't know. Maybe we're not supposed to do it? I... Okay. Yeah, normally you only do that bottom thing on okay. the persistence. Okay, so then in that case he suffers a wound and is knocked down. Okay. But at the start of our turn he would stand up, so if you really want to hit him, which we wouldn't necessarily want to because he's going to trap anyways. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, Armin, so he stands up. He stands up. He is going to land next to the ball when we trigger the trap. Which we're fine with. Yeah. So the other problem is is that this is going to put Armin into Smell World, which would mean that somebody needs to spend an activation to escape. I can do that. I've got 11 survival. Um, and that's that. And then the Dung Milk is going to... Uh, oh. Hmm. Ooh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, he actually needs to take this for a bunch of reasons. Yeah, we Silver's agreeing we skipped the targeting step altogether. So that one's the same. It's always... There's no difference. Okay. So, uh, Armin is going to attack. Okay. He hits on a um, 2+. plus. That's a hit, and you're in. Okay. I am doomed. Full move directly to the attacker. The monster is adjacent to the attacker. It picks them up and leaps high into the air. The monster Which one are you? Next to the, the brown one. Monster lands next to the resin dung ball and slams the uh, attacker inside. Uh, place the monster in any space adjacent to the ball. Attacker suffers five damage to star hit location. Oh, wait. Uh, let's see. Yeah, attacker suffers five damage to star hit locations, which is going to be the arms and the head. So, so that's ten damage, but, but for he's you, insane. And you're immortal. And he's immortal, so that drops him down to 17 insanity. That's good. I like that. And gains the Smell World status card. Oh, that's a good call. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so now shuffle. Thank you, Matt. Very locations. appreciated. Alright. So that was Armin's turn. Yep. Um, he still could surge if we get him up. Yes. So, I will, sp do I want to spend the survival and pull him out yet? Probably. I mean, it depends. We'll figure out what happens with the hit location. Okay. Because that may be interesting. Yeah, hidden runs. I like hidden runs. Especially when I'm by a pillar and I can hide. Okay. Century Carapace is going to be the top card. So Goku will go first. Okay. Um, no, so, uh, Chisei can also attack with a dig and claw, so... Okay, so I'm going to start and I'm going to pull you out. Okay, so you do need to be next to the ball. I do. Yes. Okay, so Goku will run up here. Okay. He will uh, spend one survival to pull you out. All right, I archive Scent World mm -hmm. and gain dunk mil Dung Milk. Place him in any space adjacent to the ball. To the ball. Yes. When you gain this, you are knocked down. So that kind of sucks. And I will stand you up and you gain a speed token. Okay. Uh, and suffer star damage to your body that ignores armor, which knocks me down again. Not that it matters. Uh, gain negative one evasion no. and negative one accuracy. That still takes off of your... Uh, your no. It's your body. It still takes it ignores, off. Of, oh, right, yeah. You're right. It still hits a mortal. So that drops me down to 15 insanity, but I would be still knocked down. Uh, and it doesn't matter because you stood me up. I yep. gained negative one evasion and negative one accuracy tokens. Oh, speed doesn't matter for Armin. <laughs> yeah, speed doesn't matter at all. So I need a uh, evasion and accuracy token. Oh, you do? Negative one. Oh. Okay. And now I'm going to actually do Goku's attack. So, digging claw again, because why not? At least he got his axe check mark. That's all I care about. Mm -hmm. uh, three hits. And a nat 10 just because. I roll a lot more 10s, but I roll them on shit I don't care about. Okay. Okay. Um. 
This is a crit for resource on the top. Oh, shit. That would be bad. I need, um, can Armin surge before, surge during my attack and knock the ball away? Uh, theoretically, yes. Otherwise, we're getting ground pounded. Okay. Likely at um, some point. Does it actually make sense for Armin to do it, or would it make more sense for somebody else to dash and surge? Let's wait for now, because it may not happen, based okay. on the second attack, but it would make a little bit more sense for Armin, potentially, except for, I no. don't want... Oh, she wait, she's... is not that good. Oh, good point, yeah. Then she say maybe better, but first let's start with the Century Carapace, because this may just end it. Okay. I need eight total. That's enough. That's enough. I get another 10 just because. I always roll 10s when I don't need them, and I always roll 1s when I don't need them. Yeah, the other thing is search to attack and knock him down. And I, That's yeah. Ah, good point. And I get 4 survival back? No, I can't knock him down on uh, his turn. Oh, uh, good, yeah. Only on mine. Okay, turn to face directly away f Oh, that's a reflex. So, I forget. What do I wound and everything on? So he's down to 13. Okay... Oh, I wound on anything but a one. Okay. And I crit on... No, uh, the iridescent abdomen, he won't perform ground pound. Oh, he won't? No, because he's not separated from the ball right now. He's oh! Next to it. That's the issue. Oh! So, if you fail, you'll perform basic action, but... I'll do that one first. Uh, or do you have a good chance of winning? Yeah. I have a good chance of winning. If he does a basic action, it doesn't matter. I have armor to handle one. Okay. And I have that seven evasion. Though you will eat this version of it. Which, yeah, but... And you can't dodge. Oh, I, yeah, but I still have amazing armor and evasion. Okay. So, I'm pretty good. Okay, so I crit on an eight, nine, or ten, and I wound on a two plus. Okay. Oh, not a crit. But nothing happens other than a wound. So he's down to three AI cards. Yes. And you did get that fist and tooth check, which is nice. Yeah. And that's a wound. Which means I will get the reflex. Yes. Um, turn the monster face directly away from the tar attacker. Okay. Um, the monster beats its wings. All survivors in its flying spot. Knock back seven. Okay. okay. So, all right. So Armin is going to search and attack. Yeah, pushing away the tank. <laughs> He's like, fuck you! Six, two, currently three, but I have one additional accuracy because it's a grand weapon, so it's still four. And so it's negative one accuracy. Oh, that doesn't affect it's this. It's accuracy, yeah. Good enough. <laughs> so you wound on a 2 plus, crit on a 3. Yep, and if I crit, I get a broken horn. Ooh! Those are always nice. Mm-hmm. And that's a crit. All right. Gain the iridescent horn, which is actually the beetle horn. All right. Uh, this is going to be a safe card to hit. Uh, iridescent horn. It's going to be here. Man, we have not gotten that many resources. Mm-hmm. Okay. But we get quite a bit from killing them. Yeah, but we really wanted other resources because we, we there were a few rares that we wanted to get out of them. Yeah. So he has one AI card left, so... Yep. Um. Okay. So is Cauliflow gone yet? No, Cauliflow is going to go now. Okay. Um, so I hit on a three plus. Two hits. Maybe enough to finish him. No first strike, but there is a parry. Oh. Yeah, I know. I want my devastating back so bad right now. Yeah, that would have been nice. It'd um, be so dead if it was just there. Oh, that's not too bad. I'm going to actually start with the this one. Okay. It'll get me out of his way, worst case. Um. 
wait, like, oh, you don't want to take the iridescent breastplate? Because you're not going to get a chance to wound the iridescent breastplate if you fail on the parry. Yes, parry. correct. But the iridescent breastplate would knock me back and doesn't have the crit chance of a resource. If I just wound on it. Okay, but he's right. You can hit, then choose. Oh, right, I can hit, then choose. Good point. Okay, so I need a... You actually kind of, in some ways, unless you crit, you want the iridescent breastplate, uh, if you wound him, because you can gain a courage, because you're adjacent to somebody else, and it would get him away from the ball. Oh. Oh. That's... So just roll, because you're a sword master, right? Yeah. So you can choose... That's a good point. Um, so that's a 3 plus to wound, and 7 plus to crit. Okay. And a one! Okay. So... Question is... Uh, I guess... I mean, your chance is really the iridescent breastplate. Is yeah, I think I'm going to dump the iridescent breastplate because nothing happens. Yeah. It does mean that we have to push the ball out of the way, though. Yeah. Or kill him. <laughs> That's a crit! Gain a Dung Beetle Knight resource. Alright. So that was his last card. Yeah, we can crit on his turn. Too. We can attack on his turn, too. No, I've got the perfect solution. Oh. How does that work? Damn it. Ah! Yeah. I was hoping for a better hit location on top. Yeah. Uh, Sentry fingernails. Ah, nice. We need one of those. Um, reason why I'm screaming, I have heroic. Ah, uh, yes. I was hoping to do the final blow with an easy... Well, the thing is, what I mean... Well, yeah, you're heroic, but how much movement do you have? Can you get back in? Yeah. You didn't dash yet. I haven't dashed yet. Okay, but you did... Did you... you but you surged with uh, Goku, I think. Because didn't you attack, and I then just you got me out of the, the dung beetle ball? The, oh, does that take an action? Yeah. Oh! Then I should have... Oh, I, okay, I didn't realize I'd surged. Yeah. So... But this does not take an action. Oh, I just yeah. have to do it. Okay. But the problem it is... It doesn't say during your act, right? Um, no. Once per showdown. Okay. Um, then Chise is going to... We'll play this a little bit risky. Okay. Chise walks up and tries to hit him with the digging claw. Okay. I have one speed. Uh, so that's two hits, I think. Yeah. Digging claw is really high accuracy. Two sentry carapaces. Of course they are. So you can't actually wound him? No, I cannot wound him. Uh, um, you roll three dice and add them together as your strength. Oh, thank you. And what's your base uh, weapon plus strength? Uh, my base weapon plus strength is 9. Okay, so you need 10 total on the dice. Yes. You got it. So, so one of those gone. 4 survival. Yep. Oh, it's gone, gone. So that puts me to 11. I'm maxed out on survival. That's a wound. Second one. That's a wound. Or, well, yeah. Not a wound. Card goes Bye. away for survival. Good. It doesn't have a crit. Uh, yes, and it would gain us an Elytra. Perfect. I dash with Goku, and I use Heroic. Okay. Let me put that on screen for people. So, Heroic. Once per showdown, when you are standing adjacent to a monster and have 3 plus survival, you may spend all your survival for one automatic hit that inflicts a critical wound. Filthy Wings. Gain one Elytra Dung Beetle Knight resource. Have an Elytra. Thank you. Uh, monster gains negative one toughness. Nothing else matters. We are done. Oh, I really do like Heroic. We need to pump that into the uh, damn thing. What the hell is that thing called? The sculpture. Yeah. Would be nice. And now for some resources. Yep. I believe we get eight basics, or seven basics, seven basics. Yeah.
Yeah, Rook's kind of amazing against Death Blows, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. That would be fucking awesome. So, here are some normal resources. Alrighty. And then here is a beetle one. Alright. There we go. <clears throat> Seven basics, or, oh, first age stuff. All right. And any proficiencies. I do not age. Uh, I also do not age. We only get one XP, right? Yes. Good. Okay. So, um, yes, we get seven basic resources. And six monster-specific. Yep. Sweet. Oh. Do you want to go first, or should I? What is that? I'll go first. I am almost done shuffling. Okay. Skull! 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 Any. That's always good. Yep. Hide. Organ. Love juice. Hide. Bone. Hide. Jesus. Okay. Hey, but we got a mixture. Okay. Would have liked the skull. All right, for a dung beetle night. We weren't getting the skull. <laughs> um, century fingernails. One. Scarab shell. Good. Two. Compound eye. Three. Good. Scarab shell. Even four. better. Scarab shell. Five. Ooh. Underplate fungus. Basically everything we wanted. We missed the century shell, and we missed the scarab wing. The scarab wing would have been we nice. We already had one, though. We so. still have the scarab wing. Yeah, I think Oh, so. good, good. I think we do. What is the text on the beetle horn? We were supposed to do something, I thought. No. It's a thing that you can do. Horn oh, ceremony. right, that thing. Basically allows you to do hunt one and hunt two, or hunt a... Yeah, XP1 and XP2. Okay, so I will kill the recording for this one. Alright. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Um, Spelunking of Death. Do we want to do it? Oh, I forgot. What is that? Um, Spelunking of Death is... Uh, group investigates the monster's network of tunnels and are inspired by the rich vegetation. If your settlement does not already have it, gain subterranean agriculture. Nominate up to four victorious survivors from the last showdown. One at a time, each spelunker rolls 1d10 on the table below. If you roll a 1, you die in this event. A 2 through 4, you gain a preserved caustic dung resource. 5 or a 6, if you have a pickaxe in your grid, gain a skull and an iron. Seven plus, you may attempt the trial of. You must attempt the trial of valor. The trial of valor, you had to have to add half your courage. Um, a one or a two, you die, and you have to archive your gear. So, if you add your courage, if you have at least three courage, you cannot die and archive your gear. Okay. So. But on a one, we die. On a one, you die. Um. I don't have any rerolls. I have a reroll. Okay, so that does increase. How many how many caustic dung do we get? Uh, one. You have a thirty percent. Just from killing him. Uh, we get three caustic dung and a cell. Oh, we do get the cell. Yeah, three caustic dung and a, and a cell. Okay, that does leave one caustic dung we can acquire, mm -hmm. which could be good to do. We have a reroll. Um, we'd want to send somebody in with a pickaxe, right? Yes, at least if you want a skull. Yeah. And an iron. Do you lose the pickaxe? No. 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 We so, have a reroll. Yeah, Chise does not have the courage. Yeah. Only Goku and Armin have it. Yeah. Does Goku have a pickaxe? Yes. Well, you have been playing him the most. It is your decision. You have a 10% chance of dying. We could reroll, and that so we have a 1% chance of dying. Yes. Which is not that bad. <laughs> Math is voting for Goku. Okay, Goku will go in. All right. That is a tilt. Okay. That's a three. Preserved caustic dung. Which is what we wanted. 
Uh, I actually would have preferred the skull on the iron, but... I don't mind getting the preserved caustic done because we're thinking about burying again right away. Yeah. Okay, now we can end the recording. Okay. <laughs>